We learned that both of those drivers were drunk. It happened this morning on Highway 26 in Beaverton, and it really is a terrifying thought for uh, any driver to see headlights coming right at you. Yeah, our Andrew Jimbert standing by more with this story. Andrew? Yeah, well, Jennifer, Jeff, this actually happens more often than you might think. According to some estimates, about 360 lives are lost every year due to wrong way accidents. Now, as a motorist, there are things that you can do to help protect yourself and other drivers on the road if you see someone coming your way. It was scary. Seeing that car come around the corner and, and come that close to us, it was, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you, you get a a fear that went over you because you had no control. I mean, it was, it was a matter of seconds. Deborah Powers saw the wrong way driver coming towards her on Highway 26. It's the kind of thing you never think can happen to you, says ODOT's Don Hamilton. It's really one of the scariest things you can see on the road. And there is one key thing you can do that could save your life. In the split second time that these things can happen, the best thing to do is just get out of the way and do the best you can to avoid that car coming in the other direction in there. It's not easy to do. You've got to be alert, but you have to try to get out of the way. Whatever that's going to take, sometimes it's going to mean driving off the road completely. I dug deeper to find out how often Often this happens and wasn't surprised to learn alcohol is almost always a factor. According to the National Transportation Safety Board, 69% of fatal wrong way collisions may involve alcohol, a third of which happen late at night between midnight and 3 a.m. and more than half on weekends. But 42% of all wrong way accidents are fatal or involve severe injury. This isn't about distracted driving, which is a big problem too. This is about impaired driving. That's the biggest factor going on in these wrong way drivers. Now, ODOT says it's constantly looking into things like improved road signage and new road technology, but at the end of the day, the responsibility mostly falls on the driver. Live near Highway 26 tonight, Andrew Dimbert, Coin 6 News. Andrew, thank